Okay, now we will start question number 20. Let's do number 20 now. In question number 20, we can, the question is like this here. Question number 20, here. Yeah. Find uh, third quartile, see, yeah. find the value of X if the third quartile Q3 of the data given below is 32. 32 is the third quartile. Now we are asked to find the value of X here, it's uh, given here, okay? So, let us make table first of all. Here in the table it is given that first of all marked, marks, marks obtained given and the number of students number of students and then this is frequency okay and now max is class ci class interval now we need cf also cumulative frequency also so max here is given from 0 to 10 like this 0 to 10 uh, 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 up to here given Number of students three, seven, ten, x three, CFC is three as it is. Three plus seven is ten. Ten plus ten is twenty. Twenty plus x is twenty plus x. Twenty plus three is twenty-three plus x. So this is cumulative frequency. Okay, now let us complete this table. This table. Always in examination also while solving the problem, you have to complete the table like this. So, fairly you need to do, okay? Like this way. Now, after this, what we can find? Position of um, third quartile, Q3 now. Let us write it. Position of Q3, third quartile. This is equals to 3n by 4 th term. N here is this one, see, 23 plus 3, 23 plus X divided by 4. So this can be written as 23 times 3, 3, 3 is 9, 69 plus 3X by 4th term. This is N, 3N by 4 value, this must be got. Now from here we cannot find out the quartile class. So here quartile, here it is written here, since... Uh, third quartile is 32. See, it lies in 32 means 30 to 40. 30 to 40 class. It's like this. So this is quartile class, okay? 30 to 40. So now formula we have Q3 is equals to, formula for to find Q3 is L plus, yes, I by F bracket 3N by 4 minus CF, like this. So L is lower limit, lower limit here is 30, so we can write 30 here, plus I, I is width of the class, 30 to 40, the difference between these two. That is 10 by F. F means, look at it. First of all, we need to write on this one. See, this is Q3 class. Q3 class is this one. This is our Q3 class. You can mark it like this. Q3 class. So, frequency here, see. Frequency of the quarter class is X. So, we can write here X. Bracket 3 and by 4. Just now we have got here. 69 plus 3 X divided by 4. This is 3n by 4, this 3n by 4 value, cf, cf is minus, cf is here, look at it, see, this is the quartile class, so cf is the cumulative frequency of the preceding class, preceding means one step up here, this is 20, 20, you can put value here, and q3, q3 is given 32 here, so this is 32, or, now this 30 you can transpose this side, so we'll get 32 minus 30 will be equal to 2 equals to, uh, this 10 by x we can write as it is 10 by x bracket this one we can take LCM see 
minus 24 is 80. Divided by 4 we can do. Okay. So, we can reduce also. If we reduce here will be 5 and here will be 2. So, 2x will multiply, cross multiply here or 2 2 is a 4, 4x will be here, 4x see, 2 2 is a 4x, yeah, this 2x will multiply here, 2 times x is 2x will multiply this side, then this 5 as it is, 5 as it is, now we can subtract this one, 3x minus, this 80 minus 69 is 11, like this, or this is 4x is equals to 5 3 is a 15x minus 11 5 is a 55. So, this 55 we can transfer this side and this this side. So, or this is 55 is equals to 4 if you transfer this side, 15 minus 4 will be 11 x. So, therefore, x equals to 11 5 is a 55. So, we can write conclusion here. Hence, the value of x of x is 5. Okay, thank you for watching this video.